Massimo Polidoro is our next uh, speaker. Like I said, there's a switch in the program. So Massimo is next. Massimo is one of these effortlessly stylish continental guys, and I just hate him. Oh, he just always looks so cool. Uh, he's going to give a talk about his book that he's writing about James Randi. Uh, the talk is called Amazing. The book is going to be about uh, James Randi and his life. So here is his limerick. I asked Massimo, and I stressed, if Italian culture possessed any limericks or such, and he said, no, not much. We're just stuck with the food that's the best. Here he is, Massimo Polidoro. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Um, as, as we said, we're gonna talk about James Randi's story and uh, why we think that we need an amazing Randi story. Have you seen An Honest Liar? Yes. Yes. It, isn't it a great movie? I mean, you have everything in it. You, know, you have drama, you have uh, a suspense, you have uh, love, you have uh, um, emotions, strong emotions. And, uh, and it's a, a fantastic movie. Justin and, and Tyler, they did a, you know, a stupendous job in uh, researching and interviewing new people. They are doing festivals all over the United States and abroad. And in the fall, the movie will come out in theaters. And if you haven't seen it, please uh, do go because it's worth it, absolutely. So they have interviewed friends and foes from, I know, David Peña, uh, who is Randy's longtime partner, to, you know, arch nemesis, Corey Geller. There, is, there are interviews just prepared for this special occasion and archival material, a lot, a lot of stuff, really, that got into it. But still, it's a 90 minutes movie. And, uh, you know, you can only really give a glimpse into the life of such a, an extraordinary person as Randy is. Right. So, that's why we need a biography to tell James Randy's story. Um, the good news is that the work is already well underway. The idea is originated with Penn, Penn Gillette, of the duo Penn and Teller, our friend. In 2005, he was able to uh, convince Randy that a biography of his life was needed, and he started interviewing him. Then, he involved talented Kim Scheimer from New York, who did an, um, an incredible amount of research for years. She uncovered um, all kinds of uh, forgotten material, but especially people, you know, relatives and friends and foes, of course, going back 60 years. An incredible amount of material, I tell you, for, for years he went on. By 2010, the research was overwhelming. So both Randy, David, Kim, and everybody who, who has invested time and money in this project asked me if I could be uh, involved in actually writing the book. As I, if you were here last year, I told you how I, I was uh, Randy's apprentice in uh, 1989, 1990, and so on. Um, we, we shared many adventures, many investigations, and research and travels. But especially, well, we shared uh, a strong friendship, which is much more than what it is between mentor and apprentice. I consider him like a, a second father, and we've always been very close. But apart from this, and from my role in the skeptical movement, let's say, I was asked to be involved in the project because since 1990, when I got back to Italy, um, I've become a professional writer. I write for a living. And so far, I've published over 42 books. Thank you. Uh, some have been translated in various languages, and I wrote two specifically in English for Prometheus books. So I have, I think, both the, the knowledge, of the knowledge of the subject, which is Randy, and the techniques to, to tell the story and to make it uh, to a reality. So, in the past year, I went through, again, through all this material, specifically that Kim and Penn generously shared. I went, you know, with Kim, we spent a long, long time in New York, going through every paper, every single story. And then uh, also Justin and Tyler, they shared their material for the movie. There is really a, a, an incredible amount of material. And myself, I've always been a fan as well of Randy. So since 1989, today I've collected tons of materials on him. 
So this is the situation at the moment. The book will be made, I can tell you that. Uh, I will share, of course, the credit with Kim, and Penn Gillette will write an introduction. But we still haven't searched for a publisher. Um, we plan to do this by the end of the year. We find a publisher by the end of the year, and um, you know, if you if you are a publisher, <laughs> or if you work for a publishing house, or you know somebody who does, this is a good moment to think about buying those rights. <laughs> However, as I told you, I make my living from writing, so uh, I can only devote so much time to this project until we find a way to sponsor my work. And I think that if I can be uh, completely immersed in this. In this, in this incredible and, and fantastic and inspiring story for a whole year, I can have the book finished in one year. So we're thinking maybe in the fall to try a crowdfunding campaign in order to, to sponsor this, this work. Or maybe another possibility could be to release parts of the book as they are ready through the, the Kindle direct publishing system. We'll see. There is still time to decide and to, uh, and to see what's what's best. But as you've seen, first of all, do you like the idea? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if, you are, if, you, if you like to, to help make it a reality, and if I can ask the, the lights to be turned up for a minute, you've seen me maybe during this, uh, these days at the meeting going around asking for short stories and interviews uh, with some of you, brief, uh, um, let's say, um, you know, statements showing that there is a strong interest in, uh, in the life of Randy and also that it deserves to be told. And I would like to, to collect more uh, afterwards. If you are here and if you are staying, uh, I'm here, you can find me outside. But now that I'm here in front of you, I would like to take advantage of this situation and ask you if you can help me in a big... Don't be afraid, it's, no, it's nothing. <laughs> This is the, the phrase, we, I would like you all to convincingly scream, you know, we want to read the amazing Randy story. I, I want to film you, of course. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I make a count of three. And on my three, one, two, three, don't say band, don't say that, that was a word. <laughs> say, we want to read the amazing Randy story. Okay, are you ready? One, wait. <laughs> wait. One, two, three. We want to read the amazing Randy story. Yes, yes, a good one overall. <laughs> you know what, just to be sure, let's do it again. <laughs> One, two, three, go. We want to This is fantastic, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> so, if you want to help, another way could be that, you know, spread the word, talk about this project to your friends, to, through your blog, to your podcast, to your social networks, whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to set up soon a web page and a newsletter, and if you want to receive updates, um, uh, you just send me an email to this address, massimopolidoro1 at gmail.com, and I will put you on the newsletter, you will receive uh, how the project is going, you will know, and you will receive also ch sample chapters, stories, and material that I find through the files. You can also, of course, connect with me through Twitter, Facebook, or my webpage, whatever you like. So this is such a fascinating and uh, exciting story. You saw the movie, the, there was the Alpha Project, the Pop-Off, uh, the Carlos Hoax, but there is so much more, so much more to tell. Um, you know, the, 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 the Water with Memory, the, the, the Benveniste Fair, uh, the Ted Sirius, X-ray vision, the, the James Heydrich episode, which is so heartbreaking once you know the full story. Um, the Columbus Poltergeist, another sad story. Um, the MacArthur Award, the Million Dollar Challenge, and then there is all the escapes, uh, the Magic Career, which is a book in itself. Um, and then there are also the dark stories, you know, the, 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 the threats, the, the blackmail campaign, the, the, the libel suits, every 
kind of, of way to try to stop him, but they but it didn't work. And it's uh, it's going to be great to tell this exciting story. And I would like now me to join me on stage, Kim Scheiber, which surprisingly came here from New York. A big round of applause to Kim. I think we should tell the audience where we would like to go. Yes, this is a good word. Yes, uh, as you can see, Kim with a very New York attitude. As a, uh, as a, a New York, yeah, you tell me. Does the story. this work? Yes. Uh, I don't think Massimo teased the book properly. Uh, and to be fair, this was not my title. It's pens, and maybe I'm about to get in a bunch of trouble for this. But I'm going to tell you the opening story of the book, along with the title which is, I, James Randi, will die today. And the story is this, that when Randi was doing the mentalism bit through the Canadian provinces in the year, the year two, was it, Randi? <laughs> in the year two, uh, he used to, every morning when he got up, take a business card-sized piece of paper and in ink, put the date on it, and then write, well, okay, this audience, I can actually tell the truth. What he actually wrote was, I, Randall Zwingy, will die today. But for the sake of the book, we're going with, I, James Randy, will die today. And then he'd sign it. And he'd put it in his wallet, where if he were to get lucky, and a safe fell on his head while he was walking down the street, which, given one of the safe escapes that he almost didn't make it out of, would be a fitting death for Randy, it would be the very first thing the police would find. <laughs> and the headline the next day in the paper would be, Mentalist Predicts Own Death. <laughs> and really, everything you need to know about Randy is contained in that story because <laughs> it's the perfect promotional effort that he can't capitalize on even a tiny little bit. And it's a mystery that he gets to leave the world with forever. And it turns out Geller never gets to be able to do anything better than that. <laughs> so that's the title of the book, or at least it has been for the last, I don't know, five, six years that we were doing the work and the research. And that's just the first story. And it's not even close to the best of the bunch. There are another we could just do a book of stories like that that would be, you know, the surely you're joking Mr. Randy equivalent of the Feynman book. But there's way, way more than that that yeah. Massimo talked about. So I think he should try and go film you all saying that thing again, but twice was probably enough. Uh, and, you know, I look forward to reading it. And I hope you all do too. Thank you, Kim. So, this is not a long talk, there is, you know, I, I said what I had to say, we, we, we hope you will help us to do it, and uh, with the help of everyone, you know, loving and respecting Randy, this is, a, this is going to be a great book, and I hope that you all will be a part of it. Thank you all.